Now this is quite possibly the most beautiful bird that I've ever seen. It is the highest in Macau. With its impressive one meter long wingspan, it is the largest species of flying parrot in the world. And they're also real lovebirds. They mate for life. Hyacinth macaws play a very big role in the ecosystem. Since they are what we call sloppy eaters, but with good reason. While eating, they also drop seeds throughout the landscape and as such help secure a healthy and diverse plant ecosystem in their habitat. Now, in all honesty, before seeing this bird here at the Costa Rican sanctuary, I didn't even know they existed. And that's not so surprising, since the hyacinth macaw is a rare bird. Now listed as an endangered species, their population size has declined so much, it is estimated that there are only 2,000 to 5,000 hyacinth macaws left in the wild. And the primary cause of their population decline is the pet trade. They are native to Central and Eastern South America, but now only inhabit three distinct national parks inside Brazil, like the Pantanal. Their habitat is being destroyed as we speak to make room for cattle farming and mechanized agriculture. Hyson macaws are found in palm swamps and other open wooded forests. They usually avoid warm and humid tropical forests. They are not native to Costa Rica. And that brings me to this question. Why are they at the Costa Rican sanctuary? Well, very often they are stolen as chicks out of the nest to be able to domesticate them and sell them for a very high price all over the world. They go for about 10 to 20k in the US and about 40 to 60k in Australia. But since five years, however, it is now strictly illegal to own or sell exotic wild animals in Costa Rica. So they were confiscated by the police and brought into the sanctuary. And all the other non-Costa Rican native animals here at the sanctuary, like the marmoset, tamarins, African tortoises, are victims of exactly the same illegal pet trade. And although they have a good life here at the sanctuary, since they are not native to Costa Rica, they cannot be released. Because they could be potentially a real threat to the Costa Rican ecosystem. And that is why, because of human mistakes, they are now condemned to live inside an enclosure. And consider this, these magnificent intelligent birds can live up to 90 years. Since they are not native to Costa Rica, they cannot be released because they re- Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I have to be real careful because hyacinth macaws are known to have one of the strongest bites of all parrots. They can crack open the hardest nut with this impressive bill.